They, they, I know uh, someone on Long Island told me he got it. A lot of people in California got it. I don't think it's you know gotten around here in a big way yet, but that's what's coming. That's what we got to look forward to. Um, there's, okay, there's an organization called ICLE. ICLE was formed. It's a global organization. It helps promote UN Agenda 21 around the world. And Clarkstown and Orangetown are members of ICLE. Uh, they, they work with local governments. I have one of the resolutions back there that shows that our elected officials, who by the way, when you ask them what Agenda 21 is, they say, what's that? Okay, so what that tells me is that they're implementing programs that they don't even know where they originated from, just like we don't. The pe there are people who do know, but the local guys, I don't think they really know. Um, I guess I don't have time to get to all the rest of the stuff. I've got just way too much stuff going on here, but um, we'll open up. Uh, we'll open it up for questions. How's that? I have a question. Yes. This is very depressing what you told us. But I know. When can we do that? I was hoping you would ask that. By God. By God. Well, this <laughs> thing is coming from so many directions at one time. I mean. I just, I don't even know how I'm dealing with it. Uh, it, it. I really did feel depressed about it for a while when I first started to realize it. And I was running, while I was running for office, that was what motivated me to run for office. But, and I couldn't talk about it. You couldn't say this to anyone because they think you were a, a kook, right. right? But now that I'm not running for office, I don't care if I look like a kook because our lives are depending on it. People need to get out there and, s and make this part of the conversation and not be afraid to call this what it is. There are many, many people who know what's going on, not just me. And there, this is not a party thing. There are both Democrats, Republicans, and any other kind of people that are aware of this. That this is an American issue. It's a violation of our Constitution. If you go on, um, on um, the computer and put in Democrats against UN G uh, Agenda 21, there's a woman named Rosa Corey, K-O-I-R-E. She wrote a book called Behind the Green Mask. She's a lesbian, she tells everybody. She's a liberal and she's a Democrat. And she is a total, she, she, the reason she understands it is because she is a forensic commercial appraiser and she had to do research about certain things which brought her attention to it. And so that's why she became so active in this arena, like, like I feel the same way because this is what we do for a living and we're, see, we're actually seeing it happen. So um, you, can, you can go online, you can look for that. And what she, um, what she says is that there are people who are all over the country doing things to fight this. Like for instance, one of the things areas could do is create a property rights council. We, we gotta go to Alex Romack. Somebody has to go to a town board meeting and say to Alex, Alex, what is this? I mean, why are we members of this? Do you know about Agenda 21? We, we don't want this in our community. You've got to go to the town board meetings and start telling these people what this is and telling them that we want it out. People need to organize. We don't have the luxury of staying home, watching TV, just you know, hanging out with the kids every single night anymore. We, the reason we're losing our freedom is because we have totally become inactive and unresponsible, myself included, with regard to our civic responsibilities. We need to, in order to keep our freedom, we need to fight for it. And we all, including me, got very, very lazy for many, many years enjoying the fruits of, a, of, of the people who fought World War II. And it's time we need to stop that. I mean, look, how many young people are here tonight? Like, where are these people? Do you tell people stuff they don't want to listen to it? Yes. I'm a freelance reporter for the Robin County Times. The Clark's Pay Clark's Pay Tax Payers Association, which I was very impressed when I covered the meeting, 
and the agenda to get on the ballot to limit the town board's uh, reign. Now, they had 3,000 signatures. They rushed to do it. They did it very professionally, not all volunteer. And the reason they wanted to get that on the Clarkstown, I don't know if you're all Clarkstown people, was so that you could limit how long their term was. Oh, I said that. And Romack yeah. has been in forever, and he's appointed by the town board. So you start to see where it's all connected. They got the 3,000. Went to the town meeting to get it on the board. Is anyone familiar with it? Yes, yeah, yeah. okay. oh, yeah. right So, place. what happened with you guys? <laughs> Let it happen. All right, I was just a reporter and I'm looking and saying, okay, town board came up with the idea that it wasn't legal for them to have this petition and to put it on just for a vote. It wasn't to say whether or not they were going to have term limits, it was just so you guys could vote on it. And the town of Clark Sound said, the board, who you're trying to let, just say, do we want you forever, said it's illegal. And it always sat in my gut, because I thought, where are you? It has nothing to do with the youth right now. It has to do with this age, yeah. who understands. So it does. So now you have Gromack, all right? I called Gromack's office, I don't know how many times to, to get quotes, to see, to get, and it's a graphical situation. I cover the legislature. None of you have ever been there. Yes, I go right. into legislature maybe because you were there for one particular <coughs> meeting for something to do. Well, when I go, I'm lucky if I'm one of three people in the audience. Right. I'm right. right. People are not going to these meetings. Hey, the people of really Clark, the people really of Clark, Clark Slam Slam basically said they didn't care about the term limits and put the clowns back in. Right. So what I'm saying to you, hold on, let me finish. I cover the legislature meetings. I'm literally one of three people that don't belong on the legislature. They fall asleep. I could wish I, I can't get the picture yet, but when I do, it will be published. All right? I don't even want to go into who's running what there because all right, I don't want, it's not my place. However, nobody goes to the regular meetings. Nobody, there's apathy, total apathy. And if you saw how much money gets passed, in the last five minutes, you, you're, I got disgusted. I asked not to cover because I was so disgusted after several times because it was eating at me like you. Mm -hmm. But there is no buddy showing up. When they had just recently going to close Summit Park, the place was packed. You had the wheelchairs. You had the union. You had I mean, tears in your eyes for what they were going to do. That was the only time I saw anybody there with meetings that were that hot. However, they have a $60 million deficit in, in, in Rockland County. Last year at the meeting, they had a $38 million deficit. They just kept going and going and going. No one shows up at the meetings. And all of a sudden, you pack things. And all of a sudden, this year they go, what happened? Where it's, it's Vanderbilt's fault. It's this one's fault. It's the state's fault. It's sure. New Jersey's fault. The MTA is this and that. They're spending thousands of dollars studying on studying on studying and studying going nowhere. This is your legislature and none of them are free from this because I cover it all the time. All of a sudden, $60 million deficit. How did this happen? It's Vanderbilt's fault. It's exactly Where did the $38 exactly what I just million said. deficit from last year go? All of a sudden, you're like a deer in the headlights. Cornell. You got 60 yep. million. So that's there? exactly what I just said. People not are not doing even their your civic town. responsibility. If even you want to keep your town. freedom, you don't go out to the meetings. Right. If you, you want to keep your you freedom, you and you not even. That. And that's why I don't go anywhere. Right? I was so damn disgusted. Well, you got you got to get connected with other groups who are doing something about it. In May, there's going to be a rally. Just so you know, in May, there's going to be a rally for in, in Albany. And we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get groups together to form lobbies. We we need to go out to the politicians and start getting them educated on what this means because it's going to affect them too. They don't care. Do you think they care? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't agree with that. Um, I'm a committee woman uh, in the Have a Straw Committee, 
Uh, when I first brought this subject up to my committee chair, he, I, I guess he thought I was crazy, <laughs> like most people. But um, he's starting to understand. I mean, last time I spoke to him, he actually let me do a presentation in my political party meeting, and he's bringing someone else next month from someone else. Also, a bunch of Republican committee chairs and committee people in like some of the Midwestern states, they signed a resolution, a formal resolution against UN Agenda 21. Many of the politicians do not understand what it is. I'm telling you because I know a lot of them and I ask them, what is it? They don't know. They have no clue. So they need to be educated. So people, we need to form in Rockland County a property rights council, and the property rights council has to, like this lady says, get organized. We got to have someone going out to these meetings on a regular basis. I, we, when I, I can't be everywhere and do everything. I'm only one person, okay? But I do whatever I can. For the last year or so, I've been going to the Havistraw Town Board meetings, and I've been recording all the meetings. Now, the, the supervisor really doesn't like that very much. But by my sitting there with a the camera and recording the meetings, it, I did see some change from when I first got there till now that they made because now they know that they're being watched. It's our fault. We don't go, and it's like a runaway train. We're not there. They say, okay, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do this, we'll do that. There's no one there for checks and balances. So we, instead of complaining, we need to start doing something. Uh, what, we, what we need to do is people need to be educated. I am willing to go out to any organization, if you belong to a homeowner's organization, if you belong to some other club, I'm willing to go out and tell people about what this is. And we need to get people motivated to do something and stop complaining which gets us nowhere. I have a question. If, if I live in Orange Town and I want to go to a Foxtown meeting, can I be there? Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I don't think I know. Do have a voice? I don't know if you'll have a voice because you're not a member. Right, right. So I, I yeah, you know, I don't, I'm not really sure how that works. I, 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 I can tell you. How? Yeah. The answer is yes. And will you have a voice? If you have a question that is generic in a sense, Right. You don't even have to tell them you're from Orange Town. They won't ask you. The All right. They do it. So they do it. They do it. They do it. No, but I have a question. You will have a right to ask it because you are an American. Can okay. I say something, Lynn? Yes. First of all, I don't think you're crazy. I think it's the red hair. <laughs> <laughs> this, this lady is absolutely 100% correct or 105% correct. There are three people in this room that go to all the Clarkstown board meetings. Three. Oh. You people don't go. I mean, uh, you know, we all, we all have busy lives. There are three people that go, two of them are here, and there's one back in the corner. If you want to go as an Orange Town resident, you probably can't ask a question because they do ask you what town you're from. But if you have a question and you give it to me, or you give it to Rob, or you give it to Frank, the question will be asked. Especially if it's generic. I mean, they don't care if it's a, if it's an orange town mm -hmm. issue. But if you want a question and you want to go, come to the meeting. I am at every meeting. I've been every meeting for the past year. Just like Lynn goes to Avistro, Rob's at every meeting, Frank's at every meeting, but the rest of you are not. So if you really want to get involved, go to the meeting. Go to the board meeting. Is there be a coalition of like? Say 20 people that go to every meeting of every town. There could be if we created. Yeah. That, that's what you I'm got, saying. Yeah. We, got we a, have you know, we see 10 up. people at a board meeting yeah, or, or 15 people at a board meeting. If 30 started to show right. up, right. I, I absolutely guarantee it's that they'll pay attention. Also, one more thing before I yeah. shut up because I carry on too long. Mm -hmm. I will at the next board meeting ask about our Fox Sound's involvement in ICLEI. And I will ask them what Agenda 21 is, but I would like to see it reported when they say, oh, I don't know.
Any of this information All ever gets to the jury? Okay, I'll tell you about the jury. Okay. I mean, if anybody fights the initial, I know. So if I call Dylan and tell him I'm going to ask a question about it. But let me talk about the jury. Um, the, none, none of the media reports on this. None of them. You know, I once asked one of the reporters to report on it, mm. and and nothing. I, I mean, called nothing. yesterday. Huh? On agenda 21. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, yeah. Did you say oh, what happened? So, well, you are. Well, yeah, I'm saying the journal news. You're not saying the journal news. Oh, well, okay. yeah. The journal news is a little scared because of their advertising. For a little All right, so, oh, okay. you know, know that. All right. but the media, I mean, social media, I mean, in five of you, even three of you ever went to a town meeting with a hundred and ten million dollar budget from seven miles down. It's incredible just to hear that. If and then you connect it to each other and all you have to do is start emailing. I mean you only have to go email the people on the board. Make noise. You are not organized, you're not using today's social media and, and you're not complaining. They will listen to someone who complains and the fifty people that disagree that didn't show up. They will listen to it. But the one person opens their mouth, they're going to hear. Yeah. Make noise. What what happened? Uh, Dolores called the Journal I News? Uh, I just, we just said that about this morning. I knew Marianne and John. I knew nothing about it. So it out of curiosity, I said to, to them, how come the paper doesn't know it? How come this ever gets this film? How come nobody ever heard of it? I never heard of it. We never heard of it. So out of curiosity, yesterday I called the Journal News. And getting around all the different departments, I finally got the um, someone came to the editor's office and she said, "What?" I and I truthfully did not know that much about it. I said there is a meeting tonight in the city library and it's about um, Agenda 21. No clue what that is. So I happened to have the magazine in my hand. And I just very clip of it, what it's about. And she said, well, who's running the meeting? And I said, well, okay, I said, it's probably the tea party. But she said, okay, but can you give me any more information about it? I said, no, but this is the website. This is the name of the magazine that I had. And these are certain people involved in it from that article. So um, she said, well, gee, she said, I never, then she must have looked up in the computer and she said, yes, there is a meeting. But I have never heard about this agenda 21. And I thought, well, there is the first mistake. I don't know <coughs> why, you know. And I said, well, there's a whole article about it in this magazine. So she looked up the magazine. She found the article. And then um, she said, can the news editor call you back? And I said, you know, really? No, I've given you the information. I don't want to talk to someone about something I don't know <coughs> about. But isn't it possible for somebody to come and come to the meeting? So she said, well, without, without knowing what it's about, they can't do that. But well, I said, but you could look up the website here and here it is. You'll find out plenty. I know. Well, she is But, you know, my yeah. point, 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 before I, I give it back to Dave, my point is, the lady brings up a great point, and there's no question, we're all busy, okay? But one of the things we're trying to do in the, in the Tea Party is have people like Lynn speak. Uh, Dave is going to speak next next time, or fourth on uh, global BS, uh, <laughs> global warming. Well, yes, you know, it is. but scientific proof. Because if you understand, then you're a voice to your neighbor. You're not just, what are they, I'm, I'm not sure what they're talking about. And then eventually we go from neighbor to neighbor, but it's got to be the people. And you've got to shake them up a little bit and then wake them up. And then very soon we hope to take a list of what your talents are and ask you to sign up and give us something, whether it's making phone calls, whether it's being one of the people that's going to go to the meetings and ask questions, whatever your talent is, think about it, sign up.